transportation of carbon dioxide is our topic we know that carbon dioxide is a by product of cellular respiration that diffuses across the cell and capillary membranes and finally into the blood stream about 70% of the carbon dioxide then crosses the rbc membrane where it is converted into bicarbonate ion that is hco3 minus once inside the rbc and the remaining carbon dioxide travels in the blood as either carbamino hemoglobin which is 20% of the total carbon dioxide or dissolved carbon dioxide which is approximately 10% so 65 to 70% of the carbon dioxide transportation is by bicarbonate form so as i just told you about 70% of carbon dioxide is transported as bicarbonate in the blood so carbonic anhydrase is an enzyme which is present abundantly in the rbc's catalyzes the hydration of carbon dioxide to form carbonic acid and this carbonic acid is highly unstable compound so dissociates into bicarbonate and hydrogen ions so the bicarbonate is exchanged for the chloride ions across the rbc membrane to maintain the balance of a charge this counter transport is termed as chloride shift and the bicarbonate then travels through the venous blood and to the pulmonary capillaries and a reverse chloride shift and reversal of all these actions occurs in the rbc's of the pulmonary capillaries so this reverse reaction produces expired carbon dioxide so high solubility coefficient and low partial pressure of alveolar carbon dioxide stimulates the diffusion of carbon dioxide from the pulmonary capillaries into the alveolar air so here the decrease of the partial pressure of carbon dioxide allows hemoglobin to bind oxygen more efficiently so what is carbamino hemoglobin as i mentioned about 20% of the carbon dioxide is transported in the blood in this form that is chemically bound to amino group of hemoglobin so binding of carbon dioxide to hemoglobin decreases the oxygen affinity of hemoglobin this causes right shift of the hemoglobin oxygen dissociation curve this is called as bohr's effect and which promotes unloading of oxygen to the tissues so what is the dissolved carbon dioxide over here about 10% of the carbon dioxide is transported in the blood as dissolved carbon dioxide due to high solubility constant of carbon dioxide which is 20 times greater than that of oxygen so the normal value of arterial partial pressure of oxygen which is directly measured in the laboratory which is approximately 40 mm of mercury now there is a buffering effect of deoxyhemoglobin let us talk about this one hydrogen ion is produced in the rbc for every bicarbonate ion production so most of these ions are buffered by deoxyhemoglobin causing only a single drop in the plasma ph between the venous and arterial end capillaries when the hydrogen ion binds to hemoglobin this also increases the oxygen unloading at the tissues corresponding to the right shift of the dissociation curve so this is what you should know about the carbon dioxide transportation in the blood